Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome to a little bit of everything. I'm Rhonda and behind me is Scott. Today we are in the garden and we are going to plant some corn. Hey guys, I'm Scott, like Rhonda said, and we are in the garden today uh, planting corn. And uh, what I've done behind me, and you can see in the bed right here, is I've kind of lined out my perimeter. I like four foot beds. It's easy to kind of uh, measure out and have distances for planting different crops. And then uh, what I did is I went in a foot on each side, and that's the, you can see the two strings down the, the bed there. And that's where I'll plant my corn. So today what we're going to do is we're going to plant a 65-day uh, uh, corn, which means it should be sure at about 65 days. Um, we're planting it a, probably a little bit earlier than we normally would uh, because we had a really warm spring, like un, like record high temperatures. So I'm hoping that the weather like that will continue uh, and then we'll get um, an early crop. Um, so what I'm going to do is now that I have my bed, I, I already prepped it. There's a little bit of compost on top of this bed from last year. I use a leaf compost, so worms love to come up and eat it. In fact, when I was digging it up, there was tons of worms in there eating that compost. Uh, so it gives a lot of aeration and things like that. So, and, and releasing that compost nutrients into the soil. Uh, so just had a lot of luck with that, um, as well as keeping some of the weeds under control because that's always the nemesis of, I think, any gardener. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'm gonna basically make a, have like a half inch trench just below the surface here. And sometimes I don't even do that. I'll just take my finger and poke it in there um, to about every 10 inches. And I do 10 inches because that way it's easy to measure out. Um, they recommend somewhere between 9 to 12 inches on spacing. So we've got plenty of space between the rows this way. And uh... All right, so I'm going to get started here. But a couple of things that I utilize, um, I actually, you can see them here. Um, I use them as little stakes. These are actually tent poles. I'll go to like different like garage sales or rummage sales, uh, you know, your Goodwills, and I pick them up super cheap. Uh, these, these older ones especially, there's probably like five or six of these. So I have tons of them all over the garden. I just use them as stakes to, you know, from holding the strings to mapping out. This little particular one, again, is a, a tent stake um, pole. Um, anyway, it's 10 inches, so it's kind of nice that it happened to be the right length. So what I can do is I'll start in about 10 inches, and I'll put my first corn there. And all I'm gonna do is put a little hole in the ground, and I just go again, and I use my little line, and I go all the way down. So that's about, you know, you know that's about an inch deep, so that way when I set it in there, I, I, I put the corn seed in there, I just gotta cover it up. But I won't do that, so I'll, I'll map this side out, I'll put a corn in each of the holes, and then I'll map out the other side. Um, so that way I know I don't forget anything. And then I covered up at the very end with some foil. What I'm gonna do is keep my going down the line like that and I'll plug it in each of my little holes. I'll repeat the process on the other side once I have all the corn seeds on both sides. At that point, I'll cover them up. Um, I will take this string off and reuse it on my next bed, but I'll leave the stakes in there. There's a good marker so I know approximately where the rows are so when they start coming up, um, um, I know that it's corn that I planted and not something from the bird seeder or something else. Um, but once the corn is up a little ways, I'll pull those stakes because I won't need those anymore and I'll reuse them again in another spot. We got the corn in and planted and we are going to call it quits in the garden for now because it is starting to sprinkle. So thanks for hanging out with us and we hope to see you soon. Have a blessed day, friends.